When winter time grows weary, I lift my eyes on high. And see the black trees standing, stripped clear against the sky. They stand there very silent, with the cold flushed sky behind. The little twigs flare beautiful and restful and kind. Clear cut and certain they rise with summer past. For all the trees can ever learn, they know now at last. Nature is what we see, the hill, the afternoon, squirrel, eclipse, the bumblebee, nay, nature is heaven, nature is what we hear, the bobolink, the sea, thunder, the cricket, nay, nature is harmony, nature is what we know, yet have no art to say, so impotent our wisdom is to her simplicity. Whosoever room this is should be ashamed. His underwear is hanging on a lamp. His raincoat is there in the overstuffed chair. And the chair is becoming quite monkey and damp. His workbook is wedged in the window. His sweater has been thrown on the floor. His scarf and one ski are beneath the TV. And his pants have been curiously hung on the door. His books are all jammed in the closet. His vest has been left in the hall. And his smelly old sock has been stuck to the wall. Whosoever room this is should be ashamed. Donald, or Robert, or Willie, or... Huh? You say it's mine? Oh dear. I knew it looked familiar. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's so sweet flowing breast. A tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair. Upon whose bosom snow has lain, whose intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree.